Okay, <clears throat> so I'm starting off with two blocks. I'm going to make them multicolor with basic profiles. First thing, go into printer settings, general, and add your extruders, um, however many you're going to need for the print. Uh, technically, you can add infinite if you're doing this manually, but in this case, we're going to do two. Um, make sure you click single extruder. Um, in the extruder section, depending on filament type, if you have different filament types, um, or if one retraction is different from the other for whatever reason, you can adjust it here <clears throat> based on which one you're going to be using as which one. Um, extruder 1 will be color 1, extruder 2, color 2, so on and so forth. Um, this page here, the single extruder multi-material, these settings are pretty crucial. This is what uh, makes or breaks the wipe tower. <clears throat> um, first setting. Um, this here is the distance from your cooling tube to your nozzle. Um, we're not using stock MMUs, so they don't have cooling tubes. So in this case, we're going to use our PTFE that is in our extruder. If you're using a stock E3D V6, yours is going to be roughly 45 millimeters. And if you're using a mosquito like I am, it's going to be 25. Um, the cooling tube length, we just leave that alone. Uh, the next one, the filament parking position. Um, this is very important. This is the distance, in our case, from the nozzle to your extruder gears or your Bontec gears that feed the filament. So depending on which extruder you are using, you're going to want to measure from your nozzle up to your uh, Bontec gears. I am using a bunny uh, BNBSX geared extruder along with the Mosquito. So mine is 70. Now depending on if you have this too low then your filament's not gonna uh, unload properly. It'll get stuck because it's not gonna unload enough. If you have it too high it will unload but when you go to feed that'll be a problem and we'll talk about that here in a second. Um, the next setting. So this next setting, the um, <clears throat> extra loading distance. This is so the setting that you just changed. <clears throat> not only is that the amount that it's gonna retract when it goes to unload, but when it goes to load, that's how much it's gonna load. And if you load too much, then you end up <clears throat> with a big blob on your <clears throat> filament tower. So that's why that number is kind of crucial. Now, if you, what I usually would do is if I measure that, I would add about five to it. And then in this next one down here, you could subtract a few from it. And that subtraction from it will alleviate that extra five that you're putting into it so you don't get that big blob. So if you do a couple of these tests and you end up with too big of a blob, try uh, reducing this number, go more negative. And if you end up with holes or sections that aren't being filled, then increase this number, go higher. And that will even out your purge, your initial purging on your purge tower. These are the settings that you're gonna to wanna to modify. Next thing, we will go to the filament settings and we wanna to go to the advanced tab. And what we're gonna change here is the speeds. Um, the loading speed you can leave where it is at three. Um, bring the next one down to 18 and then 80 and 80 and set your cooling moves down to one. Um, you can actually do zero if you want but one kind of helps form a little tip so it makes loading easier next time so you don't have to cut it. Um, next thing we'll go over to the <coughs> print settings tab. Um, and multiple extruders, wipe tower, and then make sure you disable the purge individual printing extruders. Otherwise, at the very beginning of the print, it will 
purge each individual color, which is just a waste because that's what the tower's for. So after all those settings are done, you go back to your board. Now you have a white tower. Um, if you notice that now there is two separate colors for your two separate extruders, if you click these little squares, you can adjust your colors. And then over here, you're going to want to select your extruder. And whether it's default or one, it will print that same color. And then we slice, and then <clears throat> we are done. Um, from here, we'll go out and export um, for this example so I can show you how to do the notepad tuning. I'm just going to go to desktop here. And for people who don't have Notepad++, quick Google search will get us there. Um, search for Notepad++, and it should take you right to their download site and download the newest version. And once you have that installed, go ahead and open it. And from there, go ahead and select your file. Once you have your file open, you're going to want to uh, find. Go to search and then find and search for load. Uh, first one will be an unload. So you need to get to load and go ahead and press enter and do an M0 <clears throat> and then whatever you type after M0 will display on the screen for you so I'm going to do change filament and then do a semicolon and enter and then do M108 and uh, M108 will allow you to use your default screen button <clears throat> to resume so it'll tell you to change filament and it'll sit there until you press the button when you press the button it will resume um, copy all of this or actually no go to uh, replace and first copy the top line the whole entire top line and put that into what you're replacing and then copy all three lines <clears throat> and put that in the replace with and then hit replace all and it will replace all of the tool change loads with that three parts uh, parameter the only problem is is with this very first one that you've already done it will add it again so you will have to go in and delete the second set of uh, M0 and M108 commands otherwise it'll just pause twice on the very first time and you'll go why did it do that because you didn't delete it but anyhow after that uh, happy printing you're done hit save at the top and transfer to your SD card and or octoprint whatever you do and uh, you're good to go oh yeah if you find load you can uh, go through and make sure that every load has that command prompt on it, but should be good. Enjoy.